Let's get back to Andrew Clonell now for the, the crystal ball. And, and back home, the focus continues to be on Alice Springs this week. That's right. What about that Auckland mayor, Kieran? Real, I don't hold a hose areas there. But in, back home in Alice Springs, as I said at the top of the show, we'll see more alcohol restrictions announced by the end of the week in the Northern Territory. Probably that opt-out measure. That's what I'm expecting for, the, for those communities in terms of takeaway grog. We won't be seeing a ballot that the Northern Territory Chief Minister's spoken about in terms of alcohol bans. The federal government's not for that. And no doubt we will also see a firm date for the opposition leader, Peter Dutton, to meet with the government's working group on the referendum on The Voice. But I think that regardless of the outcome of that meeting, we will continue to see resistance from Mr Dutton to The Voice idea and he will continue to push for a Royal Commission into child sexual abuse in the Territory all the way into and through the first parliamentary sitting week starting Monday week. On another matter, health and specifically Medicare will be a focus, a big focus for us over coming weeks. National Cabinet is on this Friday and while New South Wales Premier Dominic Perrottet and Victorian Premier Daniel Andrews are keen on pushing for extra money for health from the Commonwealth, I predict it will not be forthcoming at this meeting. There will be discussion of $750 million promised at the federal election to allow nurses and paramedics to access Medicare and discussion about taking pressure off emergency departments, but any improvement in health funding will be part of the May budget not announced by Anthony Albanese on the eve of a New South Wales election. And this week, Mr Albanese will also travel to Perth where the issue of urgent care clinics to take the load off hospitals is expected to be highlighted again. And finally, before you go, we've got, uh, you've got some indication on the Defence Strategic Review, what we can expect there. Well, it's a big week for the Defence Strategic Review and AUKUS Nuclear Submarine Review, which have been promised by the government in the first quarter of this year. Defence Minister Richard Miles and Foreign Minister Penny Wong are off to the UK and France to work on AUKUS, plus on repairing the French relationship after Scott Morrison dumped the previous government's subs deal with the French. My understanding is the Defence Strategic Review will not be released in the first sitting week starting February 6, as has recently been foreshadowed, but it will be released first, closely followed by the August review, Kieran.